What's up guys? We're installing more new parts on the WRX today to get it ready to dyno tune. And anytime you're tuning a turbo car, one of the most important things is communicating from what's happening mechanically to your ECU, which is controlling everything electronically. One of the things that we're working on today is the communication of our manifold absolute pressure to our ECU, which will then control the amount of fuel we get based upon the pressure in our manifold. So, right now, I have an Omni 4 bar MAP sensor on the car, and MAP stands for manifold absolute pressure. Since there's no more uh, mass airflow sensor on the car, you use um, an intake air temperature sensor and a manifold air pressure sensor, sorry, manifold absolute pressure sensor, to work together and tell the ECU how much air is in your manifold and being delivered to the combustion chambers. The reason I'm changing out my four bar map sensor is just by recommendation of the tuner who will be tuning my car in a few weeks. We're going with the Cobb four bar map sensor. It's not made for the 16-bit ECU that's in the O2 WRX, which we are still running, but it does bolt up and has been tuned by our tuner successfully and ran, and by his recommendation, we decided to use it. Why do you need a four bar map sensor? Well, you might not, but for our application, we are running higher amounts of boost and manifold pressures. And when you're doing that, if you wanna tune accurately, you need to send quicker and more accurate information to your ECU. The way you do that is with a better map sensor. So, let's take a look at what's in here. Got the box open, got your manifold, absolute pressure sensor right here, tiny thing. Couple stickers, some new installation hardware, and apparently our order was handpicked by Harrison. Thanks, dude. Your map sensor is this tiny little guy right here. And it's always located on your manifold, hence the name. And we'll show you where it is on our car, an O2WRX. And it's usually right around the throttle body, just after the throttle body. So check it out. All right, so here is where our map sensor is located. We're gonna be removing this Omni 4 bar just by recommendation of our tuner. Um, they've had better success with the Cobb 4 bar and we've had some idling issues. It could be due to an idle air control valve. I've cleaned that out and it seems to be in good shape, like it looks good, like it still could be the issue, but um, hoping it's this since I got the new Cobb sensor to replace it. But let's get that uh, Cobb sensor installed here. To get ours off, you just have to remove this plug for the idle air control valve. We'll unplug our map sensor. There's two bolts, one back here, one right here. They can be pretty tight. You wanna make sure you use the right size screwdriver and don't strip them out. Also, they're really small. Don't drop them on top of your engine. All right, time to install the Cobb 4 bar. New hardware, or Allen head this time, with a lock washer. When you're tightening down the two bolts that hold the map sensor in, you don't have to crank them down super tight. It doesn't take a lot of torque. It's basically holding the sensor in place. Right here, you have an O-ring that creates the seal so that you don't have a leak in your manifold. So don't crank it down, don't strip them out. Just take it easy, get them tight enough. After you get that tightened, 
plug back in both plugs. All right guys, we got the map sensor installed. It was super easy. It literally takes two bolts to take it off, two bolts to put it back on. There's a couple plugs and you're good to go. But wait, don't be misled. If you're going to do this modification to your car, you do have to tune your ECU for it. Without calibrating your ECU, it won't understand what information it's receiving from this type of map sensor if it isn't programmed for it. So, it is a great mod. It will help you tune accurately, but you do have to tune. So, thanks for joining us, and we are going to install some more parts in this and get it ready to tune in the next few episodes. So, join us. Thanks, guys.